guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this. Does this not look so freaking delicious? Okay, so this is whipped cream for made from the Starbucks Caramel Creamers, which I do have a video of. I have just iced coffee in here, and I just put a little bit of the Starbucks Starbucks Creamer in there and some um, caramel sauce on top, and it's heavenly. It's heavenly. So if you want to see how to make this a wonderful, super awesome, cool drink, definitely go ahead and stick around for the video. Go ahead and don't forget to subscribe to the video. Give this video a thumbs up. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And let's get into how to make this drink. Did a little bit of research and found out that because the Starbucks creamers are not like actually like cream cream, like their base is like vegetable oil, you can't really make it like just by itself. It won't get the air in it or something. I don't know, I'm not a baker. I don't know how any of it works, but I read some things about that, how it doesn't always work. So what we're gonna do is I have heavy whipping cream. We're going to make a whipped cream and add some sugar and add a little bit of the flavoring from the creamers to try and see if that will help. I guess let's get on to our attempts at trying to mix this stuff. Okay guys, so I've got everything set up on my counter here. So first we're gonna try and just see if we can whip this by itself without the addition of the whipping cream because it does say there is heavy cream in here. So I, we're gonna try it, okay? We're gonna try it. But also in whipping cream, it's not just this. You usually have sugar, powdered sugar, and um, usually you can add like a vanilla, but since this has a flavoring already, I'm not gonna add any other flavoring. So I've got my mixer. I'm just gonna pour some in here and see if it whips. If it doesn't whip, then I have the whipping cream to add as well to see if that will help because then this will just be basically the flavor portion and then this will be the actual get it whipped portion. <laughs> So I'm just going to pour in, I'm going to try half a cup and see if it whips at all. That way I don't have to add too much whipping cream to make an actual whipped thing. Because if I add too much of this liquid and it doesn't whip, then I'm about to dump it out and then start over. So we'll just try like half. And this is a one cup, so I'm just going to pour about half in here. This is in science. So literally I'm just pouring it in the mixer. And I'm going to turn it on and get ready for the mute because this is hella loud. For a couple minutes but I'm not sure if it's actually going to whip up but um, I'm just gonna add whipping cream and see if it'll whip it oh I didn't actually add any sugar but that's just for flavoring that doesn't actually help whipping it so I'm gonna add a cup of whipping cream and see if that does anything um, to get it actually whipped up That definitely works. And now you're kind of down to like your personal preference on how you like your whipped cream because it definitely will get thicker. But like here you can see it definitely did whip and it's like definitely I guess 
maybe like a soft peak right now it's not like it's definitely not a hard peak so I mean depending and that's like a that's a term for how stiff it is um, yeah you can see it kind of just tumbles down but if you like your whipped cream like soft and fluffy like this so let's give it a taste and see and you can see it's pretty like floppy <laughs> I could, maybe I would mix it more. I don't know. It's really up to personal preference how stiff you like the whipped cream. Oh my God. I'm so excited right now. This is freaking exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. It tastes just like the whipped cream with the caramel sauce. It's so good. It's so good. You need to try this if you have not tried this. Wait, I don't know if anyone ever has tried this, but you need to try this. It is freaking delicious. I put in one cup of heavy whipping cream and I did half a cup of the creamer and it is the perfect sweetness. It is, I don't like things that are really sweet, but if you did want it sweeter, you can definitely add powdered sugar. That would definitely make it sweeter. Um, it's really really good it tastes so good you guys i am not joking about this highly highly recommend if you love this and you love whipped cream and you love caramel frappuccinos this is it man this is it this is it <laughs> i really think that you could make an amazing caramel frappuccino with this now now i'm gonna have to try that too oh my gosh this is so freaking amazing. I absolutely 1000% recommend doing this. Look at that. It's It doesn't look like anything special, but it tastes so good. Yeah, let me make a quick little drink and I'll show you guys how it looks with the drink. And uh, so I just poured some iced coffee in here. I'll pour some creamer inside and then whipped cream on top. That might be too much, but yeah, I, I, it's good. <laughs> freaking adorable you guys oh my gosh I can't even I can't even right now do you see this all right guys so that completes this video I'm gonna go ahead and drink all of this immediately because it is going to be so freaking good and I cannot wait this is the whipped topping of my dreams absolutely and I do have another video coming of making a cold brew pumpkin spiced cold brew why can't I say that in the correct order? I'm going to make a pumpkin spiced cold brew video um, coming up next. And then I think I'm going to make a caramel frappuccino video with this Starbucks creamer. Oh my gosh, I'm so freaking excited. Um, ah, loving it. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wouldn't mind going ahead and subscribing and give this video a thumbs up, I would truly appreciate it. I do post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Totally random content of totally whatever I feel like. <laughs> to see you guys next time.